Okay, let's see what's going on with this ice cream dipping cabinet. So it's like 27 degrees, so, and when uh, he turns on the controller, it goes up in temperature, not down in temperature. So, let's see what's going on. Um, he said it was just a blue light and no display. Then he held down the power for 10 seconds and we got the display back, but uh, it doesn't get cold. He says just a fan, no compressor. <coughs> so, um, so I do this kind of thing. Um, I use this cord, this is my cord right here. And uh, I have a strip right here so I can put an amp probe on it so I can check the voltage and amperage before I start up the unit so I just plug it in here also allows for so you can unplug the unit right here instead of going back and forth okay let's check this thing out see what's up okay if you're not testing you're guessing so let's do some testing we got our voltage here um, 118 volts so that's okay uh, Let's check, let's plug it in and see what kind of amps we get. Okay, let's do a little visual inspection of the controller. Looks like February of 2018, that controller's new. So, why did she shut off? Uh, doesn't look like the wires are burned. Okay, yeah, she's not all burned there. That's a compressor wire. So visual visual inspection there. It's alright. Um so let's see what we got going on. It's a serial number on this thing. One of these I put a compressor in. I think this is it. Yeah, this is the one I put a compressor in quite a while ago. A few years, I guess. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so here on the tag we got model KDC 87, it looks like maybe. 404, 110 volt, 12 amps. Let's see what kind of amps we have. Let's start this thing up and see, see what we got going on. inspection of the back side. Um, <laughs> a sniff test. No uh, burned smell, I don't think. Don't see anything right now. Hopefully it's start components. Start it up and see what's going on. See if it starts. Well, we got 0.2 amps right now. So we just got this way, 57 degrees. Mm -hmm. We got a set temp of minus 2.7, and we're going to have a time delay. Back to you in five minutes. 58 degrees. I started up within a couple minutes. It wasn't five minutes, it was only about two. I'm gonna have to check that. I don't like that. Um, but we got our 12 amps full load. 
looked like 13, 14 was the inrush I noticed on the thing. Scalding hot. Compressor's not. Compressor's warming up. My hand on it right now. Um, it's scalding air coming off the compressor. It's warm. It's probably about 80 to 50 degree air coming off the compressor. Maybe a little low on charge or something. Oh my God. Let's see. Who knows? These cases are known to spring a leak the walls and for years. I don't know how old this case is though. I don't think it's that old. Somewhere between five and ten years I think. So I'll let it run for a bit. So we get see if we can get our hands on that hot gas line so we're kind of Toasty, that hot gas line is freaking hot. We definitely got a refrigerant. That is definitely doing work. So, uh, it's gonna be one of two things. One of three things. Dirty condenser, I don't like that one. Um, start components. Or, uh, inside the box, electric. cycle and didn't like it. Uh, so I'm going to change that and uh, clean the condenser, pull the unit out and check the electrical box. So that's what I'll do on this one. Since it's running and it is cooling. Let's see how far it gets down. Run it for 15 minutes to see how far it gets down. I get my stuff I need to uh, clean the condenser. Amps are decent. Nine and a half amps roughly. Twelve amps would be full load on this. Uh, so, I don't know.
Okay, uh, so it's been around 15 minutes. Uh, pulled down four degrees, which uh, I can't remember on these boxes if it's if that's great or not. Um, not terrible. Well, would like to see more. Um, thinking dirty condenser, not helping things at all. I'm gonna shut it off. Been running for 15 minutes, no problems. Um, Clean the condenser up. Um, get better performance out of it that way for sure. And do a, a visual inspection of the electrical box. I'm gonna shut it down. Well, I'm glad I opened up this machine. Ah, this machine has two little screws. This little box is secured right here and right here. Um, when you undo these two little teeny little Phillips screws, you can kind of have a peek in here and see what's going on. Usually down there, you get some burned wires. But look at the switch, power switch. That's telling me condenser's been let, let get too dirty. <coughs> so that might be something to do with our issue. Might have been losing power or something. I'm just going to, uh, I'm gonna uh, get rid of that switch. I don't have one on the truck. Don't really need one. I'm just gonna plug it in, plug it out. But I'll order, I'll order another switch. But uh, this way we we'll keep it going. Uh, it's coming up on, of course, July 4th weekend. This is the 28th, the 28th of June. So, yep. Yeah. All right, so I'm glad I, glad I got in there. Should be crispy bacon in there. Fix those up. Oh. Other wires, I think everything looks, I'll pull it out more. When I pull the unit out, I'll, you, when you pull the unit out, you get a little bit better access to this tank. I don't know if I forget if this comes out. I think it'll come out, yeah. Onto the floor, right here. Let's see. Okay, so what do we got here? We just got, well, this is just a, basically the power cord coming in. You got a black and a white. Black and a white coming in and a Black and white going out. Easy peasy. Alright, just to wire nut them together or wago them together, one of the two. I'll decide in a minute. Alright, let's get rid of that switch. Two screws in the front there, it looks like, on that switch. I hate putting those kind of switches on compressors. Always a problem. And they're never heavy duty enough. electrical corn here. Ooh, crispy bacon. Nice. 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 That crispy. Nice and crispy. Definitely not good. Glad they gave me lots of wire though. Got some wire. Okay, um, so I just got rid of the switch, pulled out all the crispy bacon wires, and uh, just butt connected them together. Why did I choose butt connectors? Because they're, they fully surround the wire, you get 100% uh, surface contact with the entire wire. Um, I like butt connectors because of that for compressor loads, for high load applications such as like a heating element or uh, a compressor because you know you're going to have uh, six to seven times uh, starting, you know, amps, you know, so you're going to have, you know, 40 amps or something for a second or two every so often you know, for starting a compressor uh, and always running at, you know, 10 or 11 or 12 amps or something on this unit. So, 
um, just like the uh, the surface area of contact. That's the reason I use butt connectors. Um, all right. Uh, okay, that's that. Okay, so this is what an electrical panel looks like inside one of these. Start capacitor, run to start capacitor, run capacitor. Start relay. Connection board. Um, okay, so run capacitor, or actually start capacitor, looks like 410 microfarads. Pretty sure. 410. Okay. And run capacitor looks to be. 25 and a half, I think. 23.5. Let me see. Yeah, I think they do. Big number. 23.5, somewhere in there you go in the middle. And then the little number, they tell you up on the top. 23.5. Thank you, Fred. Okay. Okay, checking the uh, start capacitor. Okay. Um, should be 410 plus or minus 10%. Uh, we could be as low as, it's 410, so it's minus 41. It'll be 369 or 393, we're good to go. Start capacitor is okay. Okay, checking run capacitor, supposed to be 23 and a half. 23. Good to go on the run capacitor. Okay. Uh, condenser looks pretty dirty to me. Um, not great. Um, so, let's get this thing cleaned up a bit. This one worked pretty good for getting that in there. Let's see what this one does. This one I usually use for going between the tubes. But uh, it's not too bad either. Um, this, this is a pretty big monster clump though. Coil porn. hot water, a little 409, and that scrubbing brush, and just use a, yeah, uh, 409 stuff, um, actually the new bottle is this stuff, that one, and use this brush right here, and uh, hot water sprayer, hot water and sprayer, and hot water and sprayer, there you go, just rinsed it off, okay, 
working a lot better now. A lot happier with it now. It's been running with just like five minutes, coming down like five degrees, so clean condenser makes all the difference. That's for sure. Definitely kicking booty a lot better now. 36.5. Link and answer boy. What a difference.